I've gone through a lot of phases. There was a phase where I did this half up, half down situation, but then for the past, sinister thing for the three months, for the past like couple months, it's just been like, I've done this thing, this situation. So you've only seen my hair like this for like months. So you just wouldn't know. Is that a rat? You got that wow. 70s hair, do I? Epic Mocha with the 26 months. But yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. I would not be live right now if I didn't post on the, if I didn't post in my Discord that I was gonna be live. I would then I would have posted like, hey guys, never mind. Um, because I can only be live a couple hours here, and I'm live every day this week. So this is kind of dumb, but you know, it's it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done right now. So we're doing it right now. Um live today for desktop. Live tomorrow for my birthday. Um the cake stream. Um live Wednesday for Alveus Workday Wednesday, where people come out and volunteer. <laughs> Live Thursday for Goat Hike IRL. Live Friday for Animal Quest. Live Saturday for Keeping. <laughs> that is a lot, people. That is a lot. Full-time streamer, legitimately. Um, have there been too many desktops? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, I have a new truck. You guys want to see it? It's pretty stupid. It's pretty stupid. I don't know why this tweet banged so hard. It got 45,000 likes. This is my new truck. His name is Binky Bonky. It is a Ford Maverick 2022. LN, thank you for the eight months. Hexual ceiling. Thank you for the four months. <laughs> His name is Binky Bonky. Don't say he's ugly. I I ordered him a year ago. Honestly, I kind of forgot that I ordered it. And then they sent me an email and they're like, your truck's going to be here in a couple months. And I was like, oh my god. Forgot about that. Um, So yeah, it kind of looks like a normal sized truck here. But actually, it's this big. It is a hybrid. It is this big. Everybody's saying this this picture looks fake. I I don't know what to tell you. It's not. Um, I can here. This is what it look. This is the bed of the truck. <laughs> and, then, and then uh, here's wait where I definitely oh yeah, this is it standing next to me and I am I am five five two. He's just a little guy. On the lot, they were calling it an F50. I drive an F150 right now. This is an F50. Really? This is just a truck-shaped sedan. Resale values... No, dude, the resale value of this is going to be nuts, okay? I, I went to the lot. They're backed up like two years on production. Thank you so much for the host. I hope you had a good stream. Hi, everybody. Um, Kira, Z-Top, thank you guys for the subs. Um, they're backed up like two years on production for Ford Mavericks. Um, people are only getting them that, that ordered them ages ago. They had to hide it on the lot because people kept coming into the dealership looking for a Ford Maverick and then they went to my truck and they were like, this one! And they were like, no! So, they're really hard to get right now. Um, I'm glad that I ordered it a year ago. Cause, I, you know, I just, I forgot that I did it. But, cool. Um... It, yeah, it's a hybrid. It says, I think it maxes out at like 48 miles per gallon. Um, I'm averaging 42 right now. Uh, I checked when I when I stopped driving today, which 42 for a truck is, I mean, I guess how much I was getting on my F-150. I had, I've been driving a 2006 F-150 since I was 16. 16, 18, 17, 12. Yeah. Christy, thank you for the 11 months, Hot Wheels, yeah. Uh, I get 12, sometimes 11 and a half on my F-150. Um, not good. This one is a hybrid, so it's, it, you can't plug it in, but it charges itself when you're driving. It charges itself when you, like, brake and when it's, like, I don't know. 
Um, it can get 500 miles per uh, per tank. It's a 13.8 gallon tank. Um, so, and I'm averaging 45 miles per, uh, miles per gallon right now, which is absolutely sick. Um, it is pretty sweet. What is not sweet about it? It's got a 2,000 pound towing capacity. It could barely it could barely haul my horse if he was tied to a string. I but that's not why I have this truck. <laughs> okay, that's not why I have this truck. This truck is a commuter, but also I have to drive a pickup. I, I just like, I've only ever driven a pickup in my life and I really do use a truck um, because I own a sanctuary. Um, so it's, you know, it's it's gotta be done. So I needed a truck, but I wanted something that got way better mileage. Um, so, so that's why I got this. Does it feel small? On the inside, it really does not. Shockingly, because it, it looks tiny and on the inside, it's really not that bad. Granted, I've only had me and my parents in it and my mom's five feet and my dad's five three. It's very comfortable for us. Is it comfortable for a normal sized person? I don't know. I don't know yet. We're going to find out. Other cool things about my truck. I can lock it and unlock it and start it with an app on my phone. Wow. All of the features work. Start it now? No. <laughs> No, I don't want to do that. But I did forget to lock it when I came up to my apartment today and I locked it with my phone, which is kind of sick. Other things, it has a touch screen in the truck, which is crazy. How much does it cost? Uh, with, <coughs> with taxes and the coverage plan that I got for it, and I, I added on a couple plans too of like changing my, because I always get nails in my tires. So like I bought a thing that gets that they'll like replace my tires for this flat fee for the next six years, like whatever, you know, like I bought some coverage plans as, plans with taxes, whatever. I walked out paying 29 for all of those things and taxes. It's really not bad. Um, it's kind of crazy. I, I expected to be paying a lot more. Frog, thank you for the sub for 2022. Pretty sick. Brand new car. Um, it has a bed extender as well. So I, I added on a couple things to this truck as well when I when I ordered it a year ago. It does have a bed extender. Um, Blay, thank you. So you can open the back and then and then um, extend the bed because the bed is really short. Oh, it's actually right here. This is, see, this thing. So you can open the back of this and then flip this over so that's a bigger bed. I got the bed powder coated. Otherwise, it's just like solid metal. I got like all weather mats inside the truck because I am muddy all the time <laughs> there's anti-theft etching on the glass so that they can trace it back to me if someone tries to steal it does it have apple carplay yes it's crazy to me that i just plug my phone in and then it, and then it just plays my music <laughs> it just plays my music rafi thank you for the thank you for the 41 viewer host with it um it plays plays my music and it plays, it puts the GPS just on the touchscreen. It pulls up my notifications on the touchscreen. I can press a button and then like use text or speech to text to text people and to call people. The AC works right away, every time. It's crazy. There are times with my, my, with my truck, sometimes you have to turn it off and turn it back on to get the AC to work. And I don't have Bluetooth in that truck. I had to get um, one of those things that you plug in. So you have to, so you kind of get Bluetooth. But because there's an antenna, it doesn't always work. You put it on like a static station, right? And then, and then, um, and then you put your car radio on a static station and then you can play music off your phone. But because there's an antenna, sometimes you have to hold an Altoid box up against the, uh, up against the radio to block the signal from the antenna so that, so that it plays music, otherwise it's just static. So I'll, I always have an Altoid box in my truck, so it's not that big of a deal, but it is kind of annoying because I'll literally drive around like this so I can listen to Pop Smoke. That's awful. It's a 2006, dude, what do you, I mean, what are you gonna do? Um, also, my truck has a, an outlet, like an actual one, like, like, like a wall outlet. I've never seen that in a car before. I didn't know that that was a thing. So I could like straighten my hair in there or something. Um, it's got, a USB plug and a USB-C. Like my, my iPad charges USB-C to USB-C, it charges really fast. So it has one of those in there. Um, it's got a feature where you can press a button and it'll hold the car for you when your foot isn't on the brake, but then it goes off in two minutes. 
So if you, so then it starts rolling, which I was like, that doesn't seem like, Kim, thank you for the 17 months. Um, I'll never use that feature, but the guy told me that when he was explaining it, he was like, just so you know, this goes off in two minutes. Um, so it'll start rolling if, if, if you don't put your brake on. I was like, why make that? Um, but it yells at me when I get too close to the car, the car in front of me, if the car in front of me is braking. The high beams turn on and off automatically. So when it sees another car, it turns them off and it turns them on when the car's gone. Um, it beeps at me if I'm signaling and there's a car next to me. And it's like, no, stop. <laughs> Pretty cool. I'll give you guys a, I'll give you guys a car tour. Um, I could do it on Wednesday. Um, cause my, my truck will be out there. Binky bonky. Nevada. Number one, Victory Royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out Tomato Town. Smash. My friend just got down. I revived him. Now we're heading southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park Street. Look at the map. Go to the Marshy.